హాయ్ హాయ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐఎమ్ మాధవరావు హెచ్ఓడి ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ పరిశ్రమ ఇన్ పరిశ్రమ సో అలాంగ్ విత్ బయాలజీ అండ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ సో ఫిజిక్స్ ఆల్సో గివెన్ ఈక్వల్ ప్రయారిటీ బికాస్ ఫిజిక్స్ రిక్వైర్స్ సమ్ బేసిక్స్ సో ఇన్ పరిశ్రమ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ వెన్ వీ స్టార్ట్ ద బ్యాచ్ so minimum 2 weeks or 15 days we are going to start with basics only basics so basic mathematics so after that so every chapter is divided into a 4 to 5 sub topics so each sub topics we will prepare a special assignments dpps okay so each sub topic every day a student after the theory so they have to practice whatever the dpps we have prepared so like that if each sub topic wise a student uh, prepares the um, assignments then at the end of the week so when we conduct the test on the whole chapter the student feels easy do you conduct tests like every weekend from the beginning itself so from first week onwards even including the fundamentals what we teach so every week every weekend on sunday we are going to conduct so neat model of 50 questions so after the examination so paper discussion will be conducted so during the paper discussion whatever the mistakes a student committed so we are asking the student to write on the paper along with the question so in future if the same question repeats and the same same students will never uh, will not do any mistake in that sir any particular topic of physics that the student should concentrate more on yes physics relatively relatively comparison with the biology and chemistry so we require applications problems so calculations so all these so all these things plays a very important role in securing the full marks so in that uh, aspect so we make we will provide some shortcuts for the students so wherever a lengthy calculations so how to remember uh, the values so so substituting the direct instead of going for lengthy um, substitutions we are going to make some shortcut methods and for answering the theory questions so every day so we will provide ncert lines sub topic wise we will give the ncert lines and we will ask the students to read those ncert lines every day in half an hour session so that will make the student to answer conceptual questions so we have in the final neat examinations around uh, 10 to 15 questions will be theory based questions in general uh, toppers so toppers will often do the mistakes in conceptual questions so for them memory based questions so every day wise we will provide so they will uh, keeps on reading them revising them so that they can avoid doing the mistakes in the theory questions and for problems so every day we will assign a certain number of problems so minimum 20 questions every student should solve and uh, we have als associate lecturers they are going to monitor their how each student is doing suppose in any student is facing a particular dif- uh, difficulty in a particular sub concept again we will teach in work sessions so like that a student will be thorough in each and every sub topic in that particular chapter sir if a student is aiming for aims what is the minimum cut off that he should look for and in 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 physics as a subject so now if you see for last two years we have 50 questions so till 2020 we have 45 out of 45 but we have a five questions extra so 45 a student should answer out of 50 so this particularly generally students are thinking that this is a difficult phenomena in reading all the 50 questions but according to my view so this is a very good opportunity for the student because for a particular topper suppose in section b we have uh, uh, they have to answer 10 out of 15 so even one or two questions if they are too lengthy or a student did not get an idea during the examination but his total score will not be affected because he has five questions as a choice and this particular uh, uh, pattern also very useful for average student suppose to secure a government seat in the neat examination a student should get 500 to 550 marks so in that a minimum 100 marks so in physics easy to score 100 marks by concentrating only on the basic principles and uh, laws and particularly we have some standard graphs graphs will be given so going through the graphical questions okay and ncrt lines conceptual questions a student will easy can answer 25 to 30 so we will train the students in such a manner every student of parishrama can answer a minimum a minimum of 30 35 questions so correctly 
So like that they can um, they can get the marks around 120 to 140 marks so that we can get the total score around 550 to 600 marks. Can we expect students to score out of out in physics this year from Parishamanita? Yes, this year. So the way from beginning for last eight, last eight months we have been giving. So first we have completed the two year syllabus from basics in first six months. After that nearly one and a half month all the chapters we have revised properly by conducting the day wise test. So student and making them to write error analysis. Now for last for 20 days they have been preparing for the grant test and we are hoping that so with our grant test so definitely a student from each corner of the chapter will be tested and this year we are very confident that our student surely get 180 out of 180.